Chokey B. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the extreme lack of uploads while the build is at its most exciting stage, but we're gonna get better at that. Grab a bag of popcorn, eat it quick, because it's gonna be a quick vlog today. All I wanna do is give you guys an update of what's been going on, what got us here, and what we've been up to. My buddy Sean, my buddy Jared, big help from Carl Hammer as well. Been plugging away on this thing, trying to get things done and set up. Carl's back at home in Minnesota right now. Reason being is I got a whole bunch of stuff to do before it even makes sense for him to come back and help plug things away. So hang in there with me. I'm gonna get better at content. I'm gonna start uploading weekly for you so you can see what I'm up to. Uh, I'll show you some of the piddly stuff I've been up to and where we're at. So here we go. All right, big old bag of fittings. As you can see, I had to say huge thank you to Togi Factory. Um, with all their help, especially Nick, with everything that's been going on during this build. But, I mean, we got fittings after fittings, um, bolts and stuff like that for the flywheel and everything for the Serial 9. All kinds of heat coating, tons of radium stuff. Dual 450s for the surge tank, which you'll see in a second. Tons of line, I have more line in there. Tilt-in, triple plate clutch, waiting for the clutch disc and bolt kit to come in. So just a assortment of different things that have to make their way into the car itself. The thing I've been doing as well is messing around with a lot of piddly stuff, as I would call it. I was working on making a radiator shroud since there's nothing specifically made for this uh, coil rad dual pass radiator. Don't worry about this Mishimoto. That was just a box I got from Togi Factory. No, I do not run Mishimoto. Yes, this is a Coil Rad. Thank you so much to Coil Rad for their support for me and the team. Um, I got Durrell fans. So these are Durrell fans, 4,500 CFM, I believe, between the two. Came in a nice little shroud, but the shroud doesn't work. It's too small for what I'm trying to do. So we make our own. Uh, little things I'm doing to kind of make everything nice and clean on the build this year is I'm just trying to build everything I can. So here's a little battery box that I just whipped up in my bender. Um, have a huge sheet of aluminum that I plan on doing tons of stuff with. If we walk our way back here into the trunk of the car, you'll see some of the other accessories. So radium fancy casing for cooling for their fuel filter setup radium surge tank obviously a whole bunch of lines and fittings um, i'm gonna make a little plate right here a little bulkhead in the trunk so that's all nice and clean bolted through the back i'm um, gonna make little plates for everything to sit on so that looks all clean you can see the big holes i have so i can actually access into my fenders um, these are removable as well on the car but this gives you a little idea of a template of what I got going on. I'd like to make some of that out of aluminum as well, just so that everything fits up all nice and clean on here, um, and yet being able to access everything. Big shout out to Blake and um, actually Aku for hooking me up with this wheel. Um, so here's a Nardi 350 deep corn leather wheel. I did have a suede last year in suede gloves, trying to switch it up. But Blake hooked me up with the Works Bell um, tilt release. So that's super slick. And I think they'll add some cool style to the build as well. So a lot of big things going on. I'm gonna be making my own gauge panel. As you can see here, gonna be making my own style. Center trim piece, all that for the dash. Probably reflock some areas on the dash as well. Just so all that stuff again, clean. Clean, 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 clean. 
the cleaner the better. All right, last but not least, the engine itself. We have the engine sitting in here. Obviously the transmission is there in the corner, hiding behind the radio flyer cart of my kids. So, you can see we did some exhaust wrap on the manifold, trying to make all that nice and clean. Hammer for us uh, really set me up and we're putting black fittings on everything to make it look cleaner with everything else that's black. I got fireproof sleeving on everything, fireproof sleeving here. Still waiting for these fittings to get in stock so I can get my hands on a few of those to clean that up. This whole area, thanks to Sam Kluver, is gonna be cut off and gone. I'm actually gonna put a little uh, swirl pot there. That's gonna be our high fill point. And then all these things will probably get tapped into there and be cleaner yet. You can see I had the fuel rail sitting in there. Uh, 1000 cc IDX injectors will be going in, not in there yet. We're gonna be running the line hidden up and under there to make all that nice and clean. You can see the oil filter is still on the side. Through drift motion, I actually ordered up a uh, filter relocation that's gonna be facing the forward direction and it's gonna be running in here. You can see I've been doing some work in this area. I cut off the old bash bar, which was removable. I cut out the corners of this support. I am going to be welding plates in there, make that all nice and firm and sturdy again because I'm actually gonna be doing the V-mount. Um, the V-mount radiator is going to be sitting in this position, obviously with the intercooler facing upward. So off of these supports that Jensen and I built last year, we're gonna have bracing going up over the top. And then on the bottom, we'll obviously have a way to mount the radiator in there as well. Plan on keeping it super clean. Gonna run some Dash 20 fittings off of here, braided line into the corner with a piece on there, obviously. And then I'm gonna run a Dash 20 out of the bottom of the, I guess you could say swirl plot, over to the other side. So overall, just trying to go for 100% reliability, 100% clean. Trying to make this build the best I possibly can. So again, thank you to everybody that is still watching, everybody who is still here. Um, try and do what we can to make everything just look as nice as possible. Um, one of my biggest things is having a car that's a full track mode car, but still look clean, still look like it's a daily driver. Essentially, you could street the car if you needed to. Um, so a lot of big things happening. Got to obviously throw on the tile waste gate, got to throw on the tile blow off valve, all that other stuff. So gonna do a little bit of styling cues on the car to switch it up for this season. We'll leave that for another time um, as all those things are in the middle of the ocean somewhere right now. But um, got some big Johnnies for the rear for this season as well. Gonna rebuild my other two um, so that they're just as big. And we'll put some chrome for your dome on the back of this car. So. I'll leave you with a sneak peek of what those are. And other than that, keep watching, keep following along. I'm gonna try to make this a weekly thing for you guys. Thank you.